Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you doing? Hope you're doing great. Please check out the description box, all the nice links for you beautiful people. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like these beautiful videos, alright? That really helps me out a lot. Thanks for all the support all you guys give me. So, uh, with that said, let's just keep going. So what I did, I changed a few little values here. The animation speed for walk and stuff. I just think it looks a little smoother like this. Uh, so six and five. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to work on this priority thing since we we have these uh, prior priority va variables here. Uh, we're gonna try to actually see if we can do anything with them right now, and it might not work directly. We might have to make another video on this, but I'll try. So our first step is gonna be in our play thing here. In our play here what we're gonna do is we have our boolean hmm let's start with this uh, remember we made this little pointer if this priority animation so if we have a priority animation this says if there there is a priority animation uh, being pointed to basically that has been set then we're gonna do this else we're going to animate like regular all of this so that's what we want to do so just keep it like this if we have a priority animation stuff's gonna happen otherwise we're gonna just do the regular shit but if we do have a priority animation we can animate all this stuff now the second step is gonna be this if this now we need to check if this priority animation is equal to this uh, animations at position key so if this is the priority animation that we're actually processing then we're gonna animate it okay then we're actually gonna animate it um, otherwise we're just gonna do this Do, 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 do. So let's see if we need all of this. Probably we're going to need all of this. So we're going to then we're going to play the priority animation only. Okay, and we have the last animation and everything. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. I think that's what we're gonna do so pretty much pretty much else play play animation if no other priority animation is set I'm pretty sure this is how it works let's just see how this works okay and then we have the reset here obviously but that's cool so I'm just gonna copy this whole thing including the else here and I'm going to put it into the other one the other play so I know this looks a little nasty and shit and it is it's a lot of code and uh, that's what it, that's how it is sadly you know that's how that's how things are you gotta gotta have a bunch of code to do stuff but there you go then you get this animation here so I'm just gonna leave these open so we're gonna we're gonna experiment a little bit now we need some situation where the priority animation is set to zero of course set to null uh, and that is probably when the animation is done all right so if we go back to animation component open the animation class we'll see that in each of these play thingies here uh, we have a reset section where something does get reset so I'm gonna make a small little boolean value value here, uh, const bool or just regular bool. I mean, done equals false, and here done is going to be true. Okay, when we actually reset it, uh, and then at the end here, at the end of the whole damn thing, I'm going to return done, and for that I'm gonna to have to set these both play variables or play uh, functions to booleans so we can actually get back a variable or a, or a result if 
the the uh, the whole thing is done basically. So done is false here. Done equals true. And then we're just at the end here going to say play return done. So basically that's all this is going to do. It's going to tell us when the animation is done. This will help us know when the priority animation is done. We need to set this to null. Okay. So if there is a priority animation, then we're going to do a little if statement around this play uh, statement down here or play if thingy. And this is going to tell me if this play is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this uh, priority animation equals null. Okay. If it is done, we're just going to say null to that. And then hopefully it won't go back in here. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put a little comment up here. If the priority animation is done, uh, remove it. Okay. So I'm just going to do that. Copy it into the other one down here. And this might, this is probably not going to work directly out of the box, but at least it's a start. All right. At least it's a start, something we can work with later on and I can test and stuff. But for now, we'll just keep it like this and we'll see how this, how, we'll see how this works. Basically what this does is it resets the, the last animation before this one is played. That's why this priority animation is important. As it has to do the same thing basically. And then boom. And all of this is the same code. So I could make a little function for this later on. Just uh, check for reset or something. I can make a function. But for now, this is fine. And uh, basically, both of these have the same thing. Priority animation is, z is null. Okay. That is good. So. If we run this, just check if it doesn't crash. That's the most important part right now. And then because we don't really have a priority animation in that sense. And then I'm going to keep working on this. I'm going to try to make it nice. So it is working everything just like we want it to. It's using the modifier as well, like we want it to. And the animation looks a little nicer now. I think it looks a little nicer. Also, before we check that stuff, let's just increase the maximum speed of the player a little bit. So it's not that sluggish. <clears throat> and I shouldn't have run it because we're going to test the animations. But you know what? Let me just see. Okay, that's a little faster. It feels a little better. Okay. Yeah, that feels a little nicer. All right, that's cool. Let's test the animation. So the attack animation... I'm going to put it, I'm going to remove this comment here. I'm going to put an attack animation right here. And I'm going to say if SF mouse is button pressed, SF mouse left, then I'm going to play the attack animation, but I'm going to play it as a priority true. And this is going to crash the whole shit. Pretty sure. It's going to break everything. But we're pretty much at the end of the video. So. Well, it isn't really. Playing it, is it? It is doing something. But is isn't isn't really playing it properly like I want it to. So it's supposed to play it with a priority. What if I remove that. And just hold down left. I think it's going to switch back to idle. Uh, pretty much. Yeah, it, it, that's what it's doing. Okay. So if it is a priority, I think I forgot the setting it to priority. I think that's what I forgot. If we go back to animation component here, open these up. Um, if priority animation, if there isn't one, uh, let's see if priority, if there is a priority, then I'm going to set this priority animation to this animations at key. 
and then we're basically going to run this priority animation down here and yeah basically that's how it's going to work and then we're going to go into the other one if it's set we will we'll go ahead and do all this stuff if it's not set basically you know what we could do to skip this we could go in into the else one if there isn't one set already we'll check if there is a priority we'll set this to priority okay I think I'll do that in the else down here if there isn't a priority set already but if there is then we'll just do the that animation right there so just put it in into the else statement let's do a little comment here if this is a priority animation set it something like that I don't know just to tell me what the hell's going on uh, right here and let's run this so let's see this if this doesn't work then I'm not sure what I'm where we're gonna do right now but we will fix that when the time comes oh so it's it's playing it until it's it's done because I have my mouse clicked down okay I see I see I see mm, so it's only obviously only doing that you know what we'll do we still have some time let's go into player.h and let's make a little variable called bool attacking attacking and we'll set attacking to false up here this attacking equals false and then once you've done, done that we're gonna go ahead in here and say actually we're gonna make another if statement if this attacking um, then we're gonna do all of this crap this attacking equals true and then do that animation component and we're just gonna play it and we're gonna play it while it's attacking now mm, do 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 let's see now this is it this is actually gonna let it continue but the thing is we'll never stop attacking we'll probably have to fix that in the next video because it's pretty long uh, but this is the idea basically so we're gonna set attacking to true and then it's gonna animate that attack for us continuously see and it's not animating anything else because we have a priority animation you know what we're gonna do and then we're gonna try if we move somewhere we're just gonna set this attacking to false if we move left okay so that's what we're gonna do as soon as we move left it's not gonna attack anymore So let's try that. Let's hit that. Okay, then it sets it to false. And then it stops. But there's still a priority animation going on. The idea is for that to then completely just reset it and go back to... Hmm... Okay. All right. I see. I see. I see. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, because this isn't something we're going to do. This is going to be on a timer, basically. Uh, but that's cool. At least that is that is working somewhat in some way or another. We're just not going to use this for now, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Let's just comment this out for now. And we'll, but we'll keep the animation with the priority and we'll keep working on it as we go along. It's a little complicated, but it will it will be fine. Uh, so you go, guys and girls. Now the click isn't working, but the animations are pretty nice here. Uh, so thank you for watching. Hope this was cool. I know it's a little complicated, like I said. Check out the code for it on GitHub. 
and just try to go through all the code, see that, see that you get it, okay? And, and try to understand that the priority animation will only stop when the animation is complete, okay? When it's done, we'll set it to zero. And the animation is then, yeah, basically done. There will be no more priority. Um, so that's how that is, all right? But thanks for watching. We'll have a reset priority in this animation component thing if we want to later on. Uh, but otherwise, we just have to be careful with using priorities for different animations. So, so that should be cool, all right? But thanks so much for watching. Take care. Check out the description box and hopefully I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. All right. Bye bye.